getting enough sleep doesn't just affect the child that's going through it. Problem. I have parents, uh, they go through insomnia themselves. They go through marriage problems because they don't know what to do about a child that doesn't sleep well. The entire family's involved, which is why what pediatric sleep specialist Dr. Ehab Mansour does is so important. I'm privileged to have this experience with um, thousands of kids who come to us with sleep problems that causing tension for the child and for the family. The Children's Hospital Pediatric Sleep Medicine Center is located at our West Campus, which is on Pellissippi Parkway and Westland Drive. It's different from an adult sleep center because it helps kids feel more at home and that's important to get good sleep. Our rooms doesn't look like hospital rooms at all. Our beds doesn't look like that at all. It's more like a, a, a child bedroom. Dr. Mansour and the staff treat sleep apnea, insomnia, narcolepsy, among others, and the effects that those diagnoses can have on other parts of a child's health. The child often spends the night for a sleep study, while machines monitor a variety of indicators. The sleep center does nearly 1,300 sleep studies a year for children. Registered polysomnography technician Chase Smith administers the test. There's EEG, so we can see brain activity to know when a kid's awake or asleep. Uh, there's eye movements, so we know when they're making their way into REM sleep or rapid eye movement sleep. EMG, or, or, or muscular, we're, we're testing to see muscle tone throughout the night. Uh, and so it's kind of cool, we get this all-encompassing picture of what their sleep looks like. Uh, it gives us a good baseline as we begin to transition through a treatment for whatever uh, particular sleep disorder that they have. Getting effective sleep helps kids stay awake at school and learn. It's big, you, you see a kid who comes in and just exhausted and beat, and then they come back afterwards and they're just you know bright and happy and cheery and you know that's, that's why we do what we do. Dr. Mansour says success is always to make sure the child and their family have a healthier life. We can uh, diagnose and manage and, and treat uh, uh, insomnia often without medications. Uh, Sometimes, of course, we prescribe medications, but I always tell parents that the referring pediatrician, the other doctors that see the child can prescribe any, any medicine, any sleeping pill, but if you can help your child to sleep well without a sleeping pill, this, this is the real success. If you think your child can benefit from a sleep study, be sure to discuss that with your pediatrician.